Contabo has some of the best pricing for on-demand servers starting at just $7 a month for a four core processor with eight gigs of RAM and a 200 gigabyte solid state drive. And this goes all the way up to a 10 core server with a whopping 60 gigabytes of memory and a 1.6 terabyte solid state drive. Those prices are really good, especially when compared to other VPS providers like DigitalOcean, Linode, and Vulture. Take for example, you'll pay upwards of $80 a month for a similar server that costs just $12 with Contabo. That's great and all, but how does Contabo actually perform? And is it any good? Well, that's what this video is all about, so let's have a look. All right guys, so what I did was I spun up a $12 VPS with Contabo, an $80 VPS with Vulture, an $80 VPS with Linode, and an $80 VPS with DigitalOcean. On paper, these servers are comparable where the only difference is that DigitalOcean has two extra cores, but let's see how they compare in real world tests. I made an exact copy of my travel blog at tonytravels.com and hosted it on each one of these servers in data centers somewhere in the Northeast United States. Each website was served from an IP address to eliminate any DNS lookup times, and each was running identical software on Ubuntu 20.04 on top of an Nginx web server. So then I put these websites through a series of five page speed and load tests. The first test was with fasterslow.com, which profiles the performance of your website from 18 different locations around the world and assigns an overall performance score. As you can see here, DigitalOcean did well with an average score of 85, while Vulture, Contabo, and Linode were given scores of 82, 80, and 77 respectively. Next, I used the open source suite of tools from SiteSpeed.io to conduct a series of 10 throttled back-to-back -back page speed tests to each of the websites from a server in Montreal, Canada. While there were lots of metrics here, the one that we're most interested in is the time to fully load the page. And as you can see here, the page load times were awfully close to each other. In fact, just separated by two tenths of a second. Now, considering that the Linode website was hosted in Dallas, Texas, which is five times farther away than the DigitalOcean website in New York, I would say that Linode and Contabo performed pretty well in this round of tests. Next, I did your traditional Google PageSpeed Insights test for each hosting provider, and Contabo not only had the fastest average first contentful paint out of five runs, but also tied with Vulture for the fastest speed index. As for the time to interactive metric, Linode came out ahead here with Contabo and Vulture not too far behind. Another free tool to test your page's performance is GT Metrics, and as you can see here, Vulture was the quickest out of the gate in the time to first byte test with Contabo just behind and the same holds true for the time to fully load metric. Finally, I decided to do one last test, but this time I did a proper load test. To do this, I used k6.io to have 30 virtual users in Ashburn, Virginia relentlessly request pages for most of the duration of the two and a half minute test. As you can see here, DigitalOcean performed the best with Contabo and Linode falling behind, but again, considering that these websites were hosted three to five times further away from the test server in Virginia than DigitalOcean, the results start to make sense. This video was kind of hard to make because at the time I was running all these PHP tests, Contabo only had a single US location in St. Louis, Missouri, but since then Contabo has expanded to have two additional server locations in Seattle and New York City. But regardless of this, I think the test results speak for themselves. Contabo contends very well with the dominant VPS providers in the United States, and the best part is that it only costs a fraction of the price. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more like this from me in the future. Subscribe, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.